Welcome everybody to a new episode of the Battery Talk. We are in the middle of a mobility transformation towards e-mobility and electrical powertrains. Today we are going to talk uh, with our software guys about the lab management solutions. Come with me and meet Gerald Sammer and Gregor Johann Kemper, business development managers for lab management. Let's go. So hi Gerald and hi Gregor. Hi. Uh, we are in the middle of an e-mobility transition which leads to an increased demand in battery testing. You guys are experts on uh, lab management software. Uh, can you introduce yourselves uh, briefly and tell us uh, what you do, what, what you do in the AVL? Sure. So Gregor and myself are working in the business field of battery lab management. And with our solutions, we take care that our customers can operate their labs more efficiently, highly automated with high throughput and with the best possible quality of the output of the lab. So in essence, we ensure that the cars, the electric cars drive safely on the road and that they are developed in the shortest possible time. Okay. So uh, what's, what's the main difference uh, compared to a conventional powertrain for which the AVL is uh, already very, very well known? I mean, there's a big difference in battery testing. Uh, we have to differentiate between two types of labs. So there are the module and pack labs, which are quite similar to the conventional powertrain labs. But there are also the battery cell labs, and they are really different because there you have to test hundreds or even thousands of cells simultaneously. And you can't do that with manual management of the lab. Okay, I mean thousands, uh, that sounds like a lot. Uh, I imagine a beehive and complete chaos. Uh, how, do, how do the typical customers in this field uh, look like? Can you describe a little bit better? Yeah, um, we are engaged in, in different customer projects and there we, we learn a lot. And uh, actually we, we, we learn a total different mindsets uh, at our customers, for example. There are the traditional OEMs, the car manufacturers, who are in the middle of the transformation into the electrified powertrain now. I mean, they, they really know how to, la uh, to operate labs, mm -hmm. yeah? but they have to master this change now. And on the other hand, there are the new entrants or the startup companies. They are really fresh in that market and they have to master this heavy growth. Mm -hmm. So they really need to extend. Their, their business. And what we see is mainly they don't have mature processes at all. Okay. So we're talking about the automotive industry here. Mm -hmm. uh, batteries have been in place uh, for a, a quite long time, uh, I would say. Uh, so uh, what about the other companies who are providing uh, battery technology? You're right. I mean, there is a third group of customers. Um, these are the, the, the companies that produce batteries for tools or consumer goods, like mobile phones. Yeah. Um, however, I mean, they, they have really a, a, a tremendous know-how in how to build batteries, how to test them. Yeah. And they also want to enter now the automotive market. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Gregor, uh, can you tell us maybe why uh, the automotive uh, industry is not uh, simply asking the other companies to help them out in, in battery developing and testing? Yeah, unfortunately, um, the testing or the standards are different from the uh, consumer electrics. So uh, if you're testing a battery for a torch, for instance, it's different than the testing the battery in the uh, automotive area, so to bring in a battery to the car. Yeah. So it's different. Um, to test it. So uh, can you elaborate a little bit more in detail what's the difference between an automotive battery a test lab and uh, a battery test lab for let's say consumer goods? Yes, so in the automotive industry the, we have higher regulation regarding the evaluation standards and validation standards so to give you some examples we have regulations regarding transportation of a battery regarding the safety of the battery and in addition also environmental tests. So um, 
To do so, we have, we see also different kind of engineers, engineer groups that do the testing and do the evaluation. So we have a, a chemist doing, choosing the material and doing the evaluation for the materials of the battery. We have an elect electric engineer that uh, choose the right battery for the right engine, for the right um, electric engine. And we see also um, mechanical engineers to do the housing for the battery in case of a crash of a car. Uh, so these groups have to work together uh, in the same team to do the evaluation of a complete battery. Mm -hmm. oh, that sounds like a, a clash of cultures to me. Um, what do we know about the experience uh, uh, about cars of, of these people or of these teams? They're faced with now with a real big test lab, so starting from 100 up to 10,000 channels they have conduct this, these tests and this is really a big challenge, challenge for these, these guys to execute these tests and in this case our software comes in the game yeah, to help these uh, engineers to conduct the test and bring the battery in the right time on the market. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, it's, it's a very complex field and uh, they're facing completely new challenges. Uh, Gerald, uh, can you tell us a little bit more um, about the added value from our AVL software, which uh, uh, can be uh, used by the operators of the battery test labs. Yeah, I mean, five years ago, I would have said, we have no clue. But <laughs> luckily, luckily, we, we have learned a lot with the customer projects, within these customer projects. When, when, you, when you really look into these problems the customers have, yeah, uh, it starts, for example, with discussions and the customer comes and says, okay, I have some problem with a certain, let's say, planning problem, for example. But uh, after investigating more the situation at the customer, we find out that uh, you can't solve this with, for example, a single tool. Yeah? You have to look at the whole tool chain. And uh, that's why we do usually a deep discussion with the customer first and then put these learnings into our software configuration in order to, to apply the best solution for our customers. Okay, uh, that sounds great. Uh, can you give us an example, a concrete example? Sure. I mean, one customer uh, asked us for an improved scheduling tool. And uh, it turned out that uh, that customer needed to, to ramp up his production capacity tremendously. So a tool would not solve that easily by just improving the scheduling of the lab. So what we did is uh, we really uh, digged into the different areas of the whole process. And uh, we found out that the initial issue is that the whole lab operated at around about 30% of utilization. And a battery lab, you need to ramp up to 70, 80 or 90% utilization in order to be efficient and in order to be competitive. Okay. Um, so, uh, th does the customer not uh, consider all of this when he is designing his uh, facility? So, when he starts uh, on a green field, uh, he can maybe um, estimate how many battery cells he, he wants to test and then uh, uh, get the appropriate amount of equipment uh, in place? Of course, you can't utilize your hardware to 100%. And when you look at such customers that are in such a heavy growth, phase, they are at about 30% utilization. So that means there is a huge punch of 70% of not utilized hardware in the lab. Yeah? And this is a, a huge potential for cost savings for the customer. So with a smart software solution, you can easily save hundreds of thousands of euros easily in the lab per year. Wow, yeah, that sounds uh, really like a lot, uh, 70%. So, um, Gregor, can you tell us uh, something about uh, the details? Uh, what's so special about the software? How does it work and how can it help the customer? Yes, sure. So mainly uh, with our experience, we can separate this battery labs in two areas. So we see the module and pack testing with a small amount of UUTs, a small amount of batteries. And these are tested with a high uh, 
complex test methods. And on the other hand, we have these cell testing. There we have a huge amount of UUT we have to test simultaneously. So up to 10,000 UUTs we test simultaneously in such a lab. So you can imagine uh, we have to generate these work orders to test the UUTs automatically. We need guidance. We have a tool to guide the user through the planning process to find for this specific test the right test bed. So we have hundreds of test beds. Then this information is automatically passed to the testbed started so you can can't make any faults regarding sending the parameters to the testbed. Uh, we are collecting all data from the testbeds and, and then we assist the user regarding um, finding his data sets and doing the data evaluation. Yeah, so we have a, a lot of tasks and we run the complete process of the lab and help the user uh, to avoid manual actions because in addition we have the challenge that such labs only runs with a few amount of people. Mm, okay, so the huge challenge uh, you have been mentioning is uh, for, for the cell labs, right? Um, what about the uh, module and uh, pack testing labs? You can use the same software to, to do the cell testing and the pack testing. And in addition, we provide an automatic report. So you can imagine you have thousands of tests, thousands of reports a year, a, a month. Yeah? And this we can do automatically. We have a server-based data evaluation uh, to avoid errors when, if you're doing these reports manually. Mm, yeah, I understand. Okay, so uh, thank you for your insights. Uh, to conclude all this, uh, we have been talking about the importance of uh, upscaling the battery uh, testing, uh, especially for cell testing. This is a very important topic. We need to be accurate, but also we need to be efficient. Uh, we don't want our customers to have a, a bad efficiency. Uh, we want to reach up to 90% or even more on, on utilization. And uh, we ultimately provide uh, a sophisticated software solution uh, which can help uh, big customers and also small customers um, and not only on cell testing but also for module and pack testing. So now I would like to ask you to provide the key takeaways for the audience and uh, add anything I might have forgotten in my conclusion. I think there are two important topics. The first thing is uh, scalability. So. Our solution scales from small labs to large battery cell labs with the same software platform. And the second thing is we cover the whole process. So that means from test request, planning and scheduling, monitoring the whole operation up to the full data analytics and that automatically. So by using our software solutions, we can really increase the lab efficiency for our customers. Okay, great. Uh, thank you, Gerald. Thank you, Gregor, for your time. Uh, thanks to the audience for watching. Uh, don't forget to try a free demo of our software. Uh, follow us on social media and uh, um, check out our new landing page. And uh, stay healthy and stay charged. <music>